Once we remove the stitches, you'll be able to open the eye. I'd like you to strengthen it by doing those exercises. I remember, Doc. Open and close. And the eye drops three times a day. Are you going to have to fix it again? If the graft doesn't take, you will have to come back. But the other seven eye procedures were fine. I see no reason why this should be any different. I'll go get your meds. Paging Dr. Battaglia, call extension 198. Dr. Battaglia, extension 198. We'll find you a doctor, OK? Dr. Forrest, dial 118, please. Dr. Forrest. What happened to you? Dial 118. I twisted my ankle during a photo shoot. You know, these things should come with a warning label or at least an insurance plan. <sighs> you just had that surgery, right? I'm sorry, I, I should go. No, 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 stay, stay. I I'm actually getting ready to leave in a few minutes. I cannot believe that I did this. Royce, the photographer, was telling me to strut like I was walking on the catwalk, and I do one tiny little turn, one tiny turn, and boom, I fall flat on my butt. I am so embarrassed. What? Aren't you gonna ask me how my surgery went? Yeah, I mean, I was gonna, but I didn't want to pry. I figured if you wanted to tell me, you just would. Is that wrong? No, 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 no. That's exactly right. That's the choice she has to make. Save her sight and possibly harm the baby or risk going blind and protect the baby. You can't tell my mom I told you this. I won't. You can't say a word to anyone. I promise. And thank you, Frankie, for trusting me. <sighs> you know, my dad was never around when I was growing up. My mom did it all. She taught me how to throw a curveball, how to drive. She even gave me the talk. Impressive. My <laughs> mother was always too busy lunching to talk to me about anything. When I was in the ninth grade, I went out for the basketball team at school. I made starting point guard. <laughs> no matter how busy she was, my mom made it to every single game. One time I hit a buzzer beater to send us into the finals. I never heard a human being cheer so loud. <laughs> she must have been so proud. Yeah. She said that that was what being a parent was all about, witnessing those moments, being there to see your child shine. And now she's having another child, and all of those moments could be lost to her. We need to talk about this. What, the job? I'm, I'm not feeling it. I just, let's not talk or think about anything today, OK? But you are thinking about what you're going to tell Angie, and you're going to keep thinking about it until we discuss it. No, I won't. I won't keep thinking about it. Yes, you will. That's what you do. When anything's unresolved, you churn. I don't churn. I contemplate things. I ponder things. I don't, I'm not a churner. I don't churn. You obviously don't want the chief of staff position, but you don't know how to let Angie down. Babe, I've been the chief of staff before. The paperwork and the personalities and the politics, I, you know, I don't like being the boss. I just, I want to just be a doctor. Tell her. Tell a woman who's pregnant that might be losing her eyesight that I have a problem with paperwork. Well, if you feel like you're going to be letting her down, then... And she's not the only one I'm worried about letting down. There's you. My friend from obstetrics, Bonnie, she agreed to perform the sonogram without putting it in the computer or telling anyone on staff. Does she know about your eyes? My vision? No. Jesse, if you're not comfortable, you don't have to stay. Uh, hey, I'm right here with you, baby. Okay? You know, they can actually do sonograms now in 3D, even 4D. Yeah. Well, that's a little too science fiction for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. So we're just going to keep it simple. A little jelly, a little pressure on my abdomen, and the image of our baby will come up right there. Cool. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Hi Bonnie. Hey. This is my husband, Jesse. Nice to meet you. Congratulations, Daddy to be. Thank Hope you. Hope you're getting ready to pamper your wife. Lots of foot rubs, late night ice cream runs. Yep, whatever she needs. I'm sure you're both anxious to see this kids. So let's get started. Up on the table, lie back and relax. 
Pull up your shirt for me. Perfect. This might be a little cold. <laughs> And see the heartbeat. Oh God, Jesse, it's beating so strong. Can, can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I see it. 